Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration video of the FX Argo Trader real time correlation indicator for MetaTrader 4. I am going to load this indicator on a fresh chart and set it up and explain to you how the configuration works. So, first of all, just dragging the indicator onto the chart and I make sure that allow DLL imports and allow external experts imports is checked. Go to my inputs tab. If I'm using a pair suffix, by that I mean if you're using uh, typically a micro count, a lot of brokers tend to use a suffix at the end of the symbol data. So you may get something like euro, dollar, LFX. If you did have a suffix, you just enter the suffix in this pair suffix field here. Um, you can turn various currency pairs on or off so that allows you to control the real-time correlation data what's displayed and what's not so let's just okay these settings and see what we we end up with to start with and then we can tune those so you can see this is the 60 minute real-time correlation data where the blue numbers represent 100% correlation and that will be typically where you've got New Zealand dollar US dollar against New Zealand dollar US dollar so i.e. 100% correlated because they're the same thing and then numbers in green represent positive correlation above our threshold and we can check our threshold by just going back to look at the inputs tab now our threshold in this case is positive threshold 0.8 and negative threshold minus 0.8 i.e. Uh, this is, these are effectively probabilities or if you wanted to talk about it in percentage terms, 80%. So let's make this a little bit more readable. So I'm going to change the uncorrelated colors, colors into a color we can see a bit more easily. So let's go for uh, silver. And when I click that, you can now see basically any currency pairs where the correlation is less than 80 and greater than minus 80 is now represented in grey so as far as we're concerned these are uncorrelated and we can change our as we're using a white background what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the 100% correlation to black and the positively correlated to blue to make them stand out a bit more easily because those are the ones we're interested in and now we can see immediately what is worth looking at. I can change obviously the correlation threshold if I want, so if I want to bring in a few more pairs, um, let's reduce the threshold to minus 0.7. Uh, I'm not so interested in negatively correlated at the moment. So we can now see anything in blue is a potential candidate and you only need to look above or below the line i.e. the diagonal line because effectively it's a mirror image. So in this case we can see that we've got a strong correlation on euro dollar and cable. Similarly euro yen, sterling yen, US Swiss franc, Aussie kiwi and so on. You can read those off by changing the chart time frame and if we want to get rid of the the chart which is on display just go to properties and get rid of the line graph and then select line graph in MT4 and now we can clearly see the four hourly real-time correlation data so what we're really looking for is a, a discrepancy if you're looking to do arbitrage trading or you're looking at using statistical information to time your entries better are you looking for di for pairs where there's a high degree of divergence? You're looking for typically for pairs which have got strong long-term correlation, but on the short term that correlation has broken down. So really this tool is quite useful in conjunction with the FX Argo Trader Statar products such as version 2 or version 3. It helps you just select the appropriate pairs. So typically arbitrators would be looking to analyze longer time frames and I mean you can see here euro yen dollar yen uh, it's nice and tight correlation on the daily chart 
0.93 so very tight um, what we could do if we wanted to just by way of uh, demonstration is just to analyze the spread on that euro yen and US dollar yen and I'm just going to load up the Statar version 3 I'm just going to change some of these colors here so we can actually see what we're doing and I'm just going to shift the chart slightly as well so now we can see what's going on here so on this daily chart we're looking at euro yen, dollar yen and actually interestingly enough we can see the actual spread is some way off the moving average which would indicate that if we go down to the lower time frames this euro yen dollar yen correlation should start to reduce and as yeah it does so you can see on the hourly we're at 56 so that's an indication that there's a little bit of divergence from the mean going on so potentially a good candidate to to look at for reversion based trading so that's just a quick overview of the real time correlation indicator and a little discussion about the Statarb spread analysis tool which is part of the Statarb v3 product uh, so hopefully that gives you an idea of what the system does and, uh, and if anyone has any questions please don't hesitate to ask